Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, this is Dave Hayes and today we're going to go over Desolation ROM. Um, I did tell you guys that I wasn't going to do any more reviews, uh, but if you guys watched the video to the end, I also said that uh, if something new came up, that I'd get it out to you guys. And this is definitely um, new and exciting. Uh, this ROM has a lot of custom features that I, I, I had to get it out. Um, it's just, again, uh, this is not, uh, this is probably one of the more um, feature packed ROMs, uh, you know, running or that's based uh, on AOSP as opposed to LOS um, that there are out right now. Um, the only other one I know that has more features than this, and um, he still hasn't decided to release anything yet, uh, that would be uh, Bolt OS. And again, guys, I'm not even sure if Bolt OS is even going to be coming out. I did talk to the developer, and they are working. He is working on that ROM. So it's supposed to be coming out. When it does, I will absolutely get a video uh, review for that ROM out as well. But for right now, Desolation, in my opinion, uh, has the most custom features of any other AOSP ROM out. Um, Again, that's just my opinion, guys. Take it for what it's worth. <laughs> uh, but there are so many things, other things about this ROM that I like. Um, one, of the one of the other things is the kernel. Uh, the kernel is uh, Blackbird kernel. Uh, Reventech um, is working with Desolation. By the way, the uh, developer of this ROM, or the maintainer for Shamu, is Sean Nuzo. Um, and I'm just going by his name on the Google Plus community uh, forum. Um, so, Sean, if I'm, dis if I'm pronouncing your, your name wrong, please don't take it <laughs> badly, man. I'm, I'm very bad with names. Uh, but this is the latest version uh, of everything Android for the Nexus 6, 7.1.2. It um, has the latest security uh, patches in it, you know, July 5th. Um, and, of course, if you're running Blackbird Kernel, which this hit that has in it, uh, it gives you the options to run uh, permissive as far as your SE Linux goes. Now, we are going to go right into the custom features in this ROM. Uh, it's in the desolated cores. Desolated core. First up, of course, are your clock settings. And guys, yes, I have this themed. Um, but I'm going with a white theme. I figured it would be more uh, easy on the eyes for a lot of you that don't like my dark themes. Uh, but then again, I've told you in the, past, in the last few videos uh, that if I was going to continue doing any of these, I'm going to theme them. Um, first up, your clock settings, uh, basic settings for your uh, clock and your status bar, uh, your AM, PM date, date style format, all that is there. Um, it, the thing, what it, it doesn't allow you to color it like, you know, some of the old marshmallow ROMs, but not too many Nougat ROMs do, if any. And I'm trying to think of some and I can't, nothing comes to the top of my head. Bolt OS, if it happens to come out, I think allows you to cover to uh, color that moving on uh, status bar brightness control you have double tap to sleep notification count uh, you do have notifications mode um, you have heads up I have mine disabled I don't like heads up I would love it if they just had a dedicated switch where I could just turn off heads up uh, it took me a while to figure this one out <laughs> I should have known just heads up and tickers uh, disabled would uh, would turn that off uh, but I did finally figure it out. Uh, carrier label, battery bar. This does include the battery bar. Uh, I like the settings on it. Uh, the settings are nice. Uh, they're easy, easy to understand, uh, very easy to access. Uh, so they did, uh, I think, an outstanding job on that as well. Uh, you have your battery status style. Of course, I have mine hidden, but those are what they give you. They do give you the big circle. So if I had to go with a battery icon, um, I would probably go with the big circle, just my... Uh, preference, uh, but as you guys can see in the uh, upper right hand corner, uh, this does support uh, the three minute battery mod, so good on the Desolation team for that. Um, there are a lot of people, including myself, that just love that mod, uh, so thank you guys for throwing that in there. Um, you have your uh, status bar icons where you can pick and choose uh, what you want to actually even show in your status bar. Uh, network traffic, I missed that, but if you guys want you if you want to show what's coming in and going out as far as your data, uh, you guys can turn that on. Um, they don't have any color options on that, but still, it's a nice feature to have. Um, and then all the way at the bottom, uh, your status bar 
uh, weather features. Uh, I'm showing mine with scale. Uh, it basically allows you to show the temperature and your status bar. And that's what I'm that's what I have right now. So moving on. Next over or next up is going to be a swipe to the right. It's going to bring up the notification drawers. Uh, the notification drawer, not drawers. I don't know what I'm um, you have your power notification uh, controls first. Uh, that's where that's at. If you guys want to go ahead and mess with that, uh, brightness slider, uh, weather, weather image, and your weather settings. Uh, this is where you can actually enable the weather uh, and do some of your, um, you know, your settings on it, uh, like your provider. Uh, if you want to go with the imperial, imperial, or your uh, metric settings, uh, that's going to be where you change that at. And of course, you have your uh, location if you want to put a custom location in. I choose, uh, I choose to use Lock Haven. Uh, it kind of uh, hides my actual um, uh, area where I'm at, close to Lock Haven, but not right in Lock Haven. Uh, and then, of course, your uh, condition icon uh, pack. Um, uh, then we're going to swipe to the right. That's going to bring up the uh, LED customizations. Uh, you have your battery light um, uh, charge settings. You can change that in your notification light. Uh, notification lights are working. Um, it does blink. Uh, Blackbird kernel uh, definitely allows you to do that. Depending on the kernel you're running, you will or will not be able to have that function uh, in any ROM. Um, so Blackbird uh, enables that, and uh, this ROM actually uh, puts the uh, custom feed or puts the settings in there so you can do that. So it does flash. Uh, it's blinking exactly the way it's supposed to, and I love the fact that they put that in there. Um, Next over is, of course, going to be the power menu. Uh, quite a few options on the power menu. I love the fact that they put this many options in there. Uh, again, guys, if you follow me for any length of time, you know uh, that I use my power menu like uh, a lot of people people use their quick settings. Um, drop down, I just I go right for the power button. So the more options in there for me, the better. Uh, so kudos on them, uh, the Desolation team, uh, for putting that in there. Uh, lock screen is up next. Um, quite a few other options, quite a few options in, uh, in this uh, category as well. Um, so I'm just going to kind of scan down through. I'm not going to go over everything, uh, but they have a lot of options in here, which is really cool. Again, um, they have color options as well. Uh, normally, you only see a lot of these settings on uh, LOS-based ROMs like Resurrection Remix uh, um, you know, <laughs> and others uh, like that. Um, so this is cool that they're putting that in there. Um, they do have the center screen shortcuts, uh, and, um, uh, let me see what else here. Oh, and the music visual visualizer. I thought I was going to say something else, but I was thinking of a different ROM. I have too many ROMs running on my device. Um, anyways, uh, swipe to the right again. Uh, it's going to be your device uh, interaction. Uh, you can enable the nav bar or disable it uh, if you don't want to use it. Although if you have an Nexus 6, I don't see how you're going to get around without the nav bar. But anyways... Uh, but they do have the uh, the DU settings in this where you have the fling and uh, and your standard settings. Um, if you go to navigation mode, you can uh, you can use the smart bar, which I use, or you can go to fling. I'm going to go ahead and put it on fling so I can show you guys what the fling settings look like. These are uh, your fling settings. I'm not going to go through all of the settings on this. Uh, I'll scroll down through it and let you see what's there, uh, only because I don't use it, so... I'm not that familiar with it. I've tried to use it in the past. I just think it's too much for me on one item. I <laughs> maybe I'm getting too old. I don't know. It's it's. Uh, I don't even like to think that way. But anyways, uh, these are the uh, custom settings in your fling. And if I can get back, there we go. Um, see, I do have the basics down. I just you know it's those all the other <laughs> things just kind of confuse me. So. Um, I'm going to go back into the uh, navigation mode. We're going to go on the smart bar. I'm going to click on the smart bar settings so you guys can see what the smart bar settings are. Um, and if you don't know um, how, to, how to set up your uh, shortcuts, like say, not shortcuts, but your long press and short press um, custom features uh, are right here. You just go to the to uh, toggle button editor, click on that, and you notice a little red ring showed up on the save icon up in the top right hand corner. Uh, that allows me to do a lot of things. Um, first off, if you if you hold on, long press on one of the buttons on the bottom, it's going to bring up a menu. 
Uh, you can scroll down these menus, you can remove it, you can cancel, you can uh, add something, you know, change the icon, you know, the whole nine yards. But we're going to go to actions. Uh, now you want to choose either single tap, double tap, or long press. We're going to choose long press. Um, now it's going to be select uh, custom action or select uh, application. We're going to select custom uh, action. And these are the actions that you get to choose from. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to have uh, split screen. So now that is set up now that if I long press, I'm going to have multi window mode or split screen. Um, and if I press and uh, hold it again, uh, it's going to bring up that. I'm going to go back into actions. We're going to go with a double tap, uh, select custom action, action, and this time I'm going to go with uh, last app. So now it's set up like Google, um, like uh, a nougat. The latest nougats were set up were supposed to be where if you long press on. Uh, you know, where if you long press on recent, you get split screen, and if you double tap, you get last app. And uh, in order to save that, you just let me see. I think I think you click on, you touch that, yeah, and it's saved. You touch that save button, the uh, the the red circle and X disappears, and it's saved. So if I long press on this now, I'm going to get a split screen. If I long press on it again, it's going to go back. Uh, if I double tap. It's going to go to my last app that I had open, and it's searching right now because I think I cleared everything out, so I don't know if it'll find anything. All right, okay, so I'm going to double tap again, and it's going to go right back. So it's all working, so everything's working great. Um, this also has uh, the pulse mode. Uh, you can go in here and set up your pulse uh, if you guys like that, and I absolutely love it. Uh, so that's where you go to set up pulse. Uh, and then your last settings are going to be your buttons. Um, these are, of course, your uh, most of it's your volume and you know, your volume settings, uh, stuff like that. This is going to be where you're going to set that up at. Uh, swipe to the right brings up your recent settings. Um, you can use Slim Recents if you want. Uh, I don't, uh, but there it is uh, if you want to use them. Uh, and right now, my recents, if I just click on it, it's normal uh, marshmallow recents. Or listen to me, Marshmallow. It's normal Nougat Recents. Now, if I click on that, uh, it would go to Slim. So if I press on that again, these are the kind of Recents that you get. If, if, if you like that Kit Kat look, uh, this is what you're going to get. And it's actually pretty cool. I know a lot of people that still use it that way. Um, but I am going to get out of that. We're going to go back to default settings because I like the Rolodex type. Um, uh, you can also use the Omni switch if you want for Recents. Um, and it's it's included in this. It's been included with quite a few ROMs lately. Uh, I don't use Omni anymore. I still do know a few people that use Omni, uh, but it's there if you want it, which is cool. Uh, that's one thing I've told you guys in the past that I love about custom ROMs is features and options. Um, immersive recents. I always run with full screen. You guys can go with whatever you want. Uh, the the uh, you have your clear all button, clear all button location. He gives you the six positions on that, or I should say, desolation does. Um, show memory bar, which is another awesome feature. I love having that memory bar whenever I hit my recents. So if I hit my recents right now, if you look at the top, notice I'm using just a very, very small amount of my memory, which is what I like about the Nexus 6. It's got a very good uh, RAM management system in it. Um, and of course, that also depends on the developer of the ROM and the kernel that you're running. If you know, it, it's, a, it's a package, baby. And I'm telling you, this it works. It's like, you know, and I hate to mention another ROM, but 6. 6 works great. And it's it does all of this on its own. I'd like to be able to tweak some of that, but it just does it all on its own in the background. Anyways, uh, this ROM allows you to change some of those features, and I just love the fact that they put the memory bar in there, so kudos on them for that. Uh, now, recent style, right now, uh, I have it set up for cards, but you could also go with grid. So if you choose on grid and now hit the, uh, the recents, you're going to get more of a grid pattern. This is more... Uh, reminiscent of Huawei devices, and the only way I know that is because I own quite a few Huawei devices as well. Um, and I'm talking about their stock ROM. Um, my uh, my Honor 5X uh, and my uh, my Huawei um, uh, tablet uh, both have this kind of recents on it, um, I, and I'm just used to using it, so I know what to expect. But uh, we're going to go back into settings, uh, but I'm not going to run with the grid. I like cards. We're going to keep it that way. Um, that takes care of recents. We're going to swipe to the right. Uh, quick setting tiles. Um, they give you the option to go all the way up to eight. Uh, listen to me, I can't even talk all the way up to eight uh, as far as your small tiles go. So when I pull this down, 
uh, once. Where are they? Uh, oh, you can't see them because I have... <laughs> it's the theme I'm running. But you'll have eight uh, small items up on the top that you can quickly choose through. You don't have to drop the whole menu down. Um, advanced, they have your advanced QS, easy toggle, uh, you know, your footer warnings, which I kind of like that. Um, uh, QS tiles, uh, visible. Let me see here. I'm trying to think. Uh, anything else that I can just open up and show you. Uh, pull down date and time. Yeah, I have mine hidden. Uh, let me see. Quick pull down. You can you go right, left, or not at all, always. Uh, smart pull down, if you want to use that. Uh, these are your wet, or weather settings. Again, um, this was kind of one thing I saw that was redundant a few times throughout. But again, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, it's. It, I like the fact that that it's in a couple places anyways because <laughs> sometimes I can never find it. Uh, you have your custom, or custom header image, which I love. Um, you can go dynamic or static. I, I always go dynamic, which means it changes throughout the course of the day. Uh, right now I'm running the Gravity Falls, um, but you guys can run whatever you want. Uh, it does come with some pretty cool headers on its own, uh, but again, this supports headers from the Play Store uh, or anywhere else. If you know a developer that builds uh, headers and, and can do a header pack for you, just download it, install it. Uh, as you would a header pack from the Play Store, and bam, you've got them. Uh, when you go in here, you'll be able to find it. Scroll down through, pick the one you want, and you're good to go. Right now, I'm going with uh, Gravity Falls. Uh, I could switch to, um, I don't know, let's go Frogs. Uh, and then when I pull down, you're going to have them Frogs up there. So now, now you can see those eight custom icons, barely. But it's the theme I'm running, and that's what I wanted to run. Something really, really light, you know. But anyways. Um... Let me see, you, you have your shadow header, a shadow header image, and then uh, browse installed headers. Uh, the browse installed headers are for the uh, static feature. Uh, if you want to run a static, just one wallpaper to be up there all the time, pick on static, then go to browse uh, installed headers. Um, these are the standard headers that come with it. If you click the drop down above that on the upper right hand corner, uh, these are the custom ones that either come with the ROM or that you've installed. Uh, all you have to do is, let's say, let's uh, pick on one and scroll down through and find one you like. Say I like uh, uh, the uh, Andy Knight, then just long press it. Press and hold it like that and it will be set. Well, if I'm running dynamic um, or if I'm running static, now that will be my header all the time. Uh, this video is going long. All right, uh, swipe to the right brings up the miscellaneous. You have your disable immersive, uh, expanded uh, notifications, uh, scrolling cache. Volume steps, this does come with a wake blocker. Guys, um, if you don't know what you're doing, stay out of this. You can really screw up your device. But it's nice they have this. Um, <laughs> if you do know how to use it, it really helps you out, especially for Google Apps. Uh, suspended anime or actions are here as well, which is really cool to have that in there. Um, and that is it for the custom features. Uh, quickly, I will hit the display. We'll get down through there real quick. Um, I don't remember seeing anything out of the ordinary in this. Um, uh, then we have your sounds. These are your sound options. You can go to other sounds right here. I can't believe my neighbor's mowing his grass. Let me shut my window. Um, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit uh, security, let you guys see what's in security. Uh, you notice under encryption it says to encrypt phone. That means I'm not encrypted. Um, this is AOSP based. I can get, I, I tell you guys right now, all you have to do is flash the ROM, your G apps, you're good to go. Don't have to worry about encryption. Uh, it's, it, it's great. I love it. Um, let's see here. Uh, developer options. Um, there's not a lot in developer options that I really want to go over. Um, USD B debugging, make sure you guys have that on. I love the fact that they have the local terminal in there. Guys, if you know how to use a local terminal, uh, this is an awesome feature. If you don't, you need to learn. Um, you can do a lot of things with a local terminal. Um, I think they had the custom settings at uh, 0.75. See the 0.75 or 1, I can't remember. Um, I, I like mine at 0.5 all the way across the board, uh, so that's how I have mine set up. Uh, you guys can set it up however you like. And that is it, guys. That is Desolation ROM uh, for the Nexus 6. Um, I can quickly go to the Google Plus community, let you guys see. 
um, maybe an idea of like what kind of ROMs that they uh, or devices that they cover for. Um, it's right here quickly, right here, desolation. Uh, as you guys can see, this is the ROM I'm running, and uh, that's the developer or the uh, maintainer for this. Uh, it's uh, Sean Nuzo, um, uh, Silly McMuffin. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is uh, this is what I'm running on the Nexus 6. Um, I don't know if they have a list of uh, devices over here, but anyways, guys, go to this, uh, go to the Google Plus community. Um, check it out. Make sure you thank the developers um, for putting this out because, believe it or not, I know I got some comments back a while ago about uh, respect and all that and, you know, why should we give them our respect. Guys, I give all developers my respect, whether I agree with them or not. These guys are awesome. Man, they're doing things that you or I can't do and they're sharing it with us. That's all I got to say about that. So I'm stepping off my soapbox. Anyways, uh, that is our Google Plus community. Uh, I suggest you guys go over there um, and peruse it and give them some uh, pluses on some of their comments. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, don't worry, That's something I'm testing in the background. It has nothing to do with the ROM. Uh, quickly, closing thoughts. I've been running this ROM now for a long time. I ran it all the I ran it all weekend long. Um, I think I installed it on Thursday or Friday. Uh, it's running great. I've got no complaints. Uh, I can't find one thing that I don't like about the ROM, um, and I can't really find one specific item that I that I really love about it. It's it's just an awesome ROM, and you guys should try it. Is all I got to say. Um, I can't think of anything else to go over. Uh, yes, I have a ton of apps on here. It's because I've been testing this. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a thorough, um, you know, a, a thorough uh, result of what I come up with, of what I think of this ROM, and I wanted to put it through its paces. And believe me, guys, I did. I beat the shit out of this ROM uh, over the weekend, and I'll tell you, it's pretty cool. Um, again, it's like another ROM that you guys know, if you follow me at all, that I run. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty damn dependable. So, um, I just want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Um, and I know I did say I wasn't going to come out with any more reviews, but you know, if we keep getting things or ROMs like this coming out, uh, that are as cool as this, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get them out there to you guys. So, uh, I will see you on the next one.